Are there any extended stay options in Spain when owning a property in the country? Welcome back to Spain Guru. Imagine owning a charming villa in sunny Spain and wanting to stay there just a bit longer than the usual tourist visa allows. That's the dilemma faced by one of our community members who posed a very interesting question. Is there a six month Spanish visa option for longer stays? Well, let's dissect this query and unearth some valuable insights. And if you haven't joined our Spain Guru Facebook groups, follow the links below. First off, Spain does not offer a straightforward six month visa that lets you simply enjoy the sun and siesta for half the year. However, don't pack up your beach towels just yet. There are alternatives. One viable route is the language student visa. If you enroll in a full-time course, which typically requires 20 hours per week, you could extend your stay. It sounds like an excellent plan if you are keen to pick up some Spanish, but remember, there is more of a temporary fix rather than a long-term solution. Now, for those thinking about the non-lucrative visa or NLD, it's worth noting that obtaining this visa doesn't necessarily affect your tax residence unless you spend more than 183 days in Spain within a calendar year, which is still a requirement to renew it. There is more about this subject in this article. So it is possible to manage your tax situation while enjoying your Spanish home. If you don't care about renewing your NLD, you can simply not comply with the residence requirements of 183 days plus and apply for a new visa, but it has to be in your uh, local consulate. Additionally, if your pockets are deep, there is the golden visa. Yes, it was announced by the Prime Minister of Spain that this program was going to be discontinued, but they didn't say when or how that is going to happen. A hefty investment of half a million euros in real estate could not only open the doors to longer stays, but also grant you residency status without the fuss of visa renewals. Lastly, let's not forget the practical tip from our community. Use a Schengen calculator to plan your stays within the 90 of 180 days rule more efficiently. Sometimes it's all about smarter planning rather than looking for loopholes. Oh, and one more thing. Apparently YouTube says you're gonna love watching this video right here. I think you should watch it.